What does your mechanic mean when he tells you that your engine has knocked? And what are the signs and symptoms of a knocked engine? And also, what are the things that you can do to avoid getting engine knock? There's two types of engine knock that you will normally get your mechanic referencing when he tells you that your engine has knocked and the first one we're going to talk about is the bottom side of your engine which is the most easy for you to diagnose so what we have here is the engine's crankshaft and you've got the piston rod so this is basically what connects your pistons to the crankshaft and what you have uh, sitting between the crankshaft and the rod is what are called bearings so if we look at this cap right here this piece that you're looking at is the same as this bottom piece right here but uh, in this case you can actually see the bearing that sits here that's this uh, little silver part that's on the inside it's actually easier that I show you guys uh, what it looks like so these two bolts come out and then you get the piston separated from the cap at the back of the rod so this is basically the assembly how it looks like you can see this actually has bearings on the inside this is what it looks like and this is how it comes in it sits like that uh, and that's what slides on the crankshaft there's a very thin film of oil that runs between your bearing and where it sits on the crankshaft that is obviously supplied by your oil pump and that keeps uh, this surface nice and lubricated so that there's no metal to metal contact between this bearing and your crankshaft so when you get your engine to a point where it starts knocking uh, basically that's caused by oil starvation which means that not enough oil is able to get to uh, this surface on the crankshaft between the bearing and the crankshaft and that ends up causing metal to metal contact which wears out the bearing material very quickly and ends up making the gap uh, between the crankshaft and the bearing wide and that now starts to present itself as a knock sound so you can see on this one right here it shakes uh, in and out a little bit uh, but these bearings are good so there's not a lot of play but when your car experiences oil starvation and it wears out the bearings there ends up being more space uh, between this bearing and the crankshaft and that causes a knocking sound coming from the bottom of your engine Another situation is just the general wear and tear. If your car is a uh, very high mileage, these things are not designed to uh, last forever. There are some engines, yes, that have, you know, bearings that can go for, you know, hundreds of thousands of miles. But uh, also, there's just a general wear and tear that happens on these, and they can eventually start to fail and cause, uh, you know, the rod, the knock, the rod knock, to start happening on your engine. So the best way you can protect yourself from this type of knock is making sure that you always change your engine oil on time so that you don't have things like your oil filter or the oil pickup tube that picks up oil from uh, your oil sump is not blocked and you don't create a situation where uh, any of these sections that meet with the pistons rod uh, get dry. So. If you just make sure that you're on top of your oil change, then you won't experience this type of knock. To be able to repair your engine after this type of knock always requires a specialized mechanic to take out all the rods and bearings on your engine, uh, make sure that they change the bearings with genuine ones, and then put it all back together. So once you start to hear that type of knock sound, uh, you know, people will try and suggest you use thicker oil and stuff like that but in general you're already at a point where you have to do a rebuild and get brand new bearings 
and machine a lot of the parts uh, down here to get it back to uh, the factory standard where you won't have that knock sound. So it's a pretty expensive repair but it can be avoided if you just make sure that you use good engine oil and make sure that your car doesn't have sludge and other things that can go ahead and block the oil supply to your crankshaft. The second type of knock that we're going to talk about happens within the cylinders of your engine and I'm using this one because it actually has a knock sensor. So this has a knock sensor built into the block because this type of knock sometimes cannot be heard uh, by the human ear can be for different reasons because of road noise and stuff like that but you know in some cases you will be able to hear it but you get a knock sensor on the block so that your engine uh, ECU or computer box can actually hear that sound and let you know through a check engine light that you are actually experiencing knock. I have a disassembled engine right here uh, to show you this and that type of knock is called pinging or pre-detonation that happens within the cylinders so basically from you know how we understand how engines work the only time that air and fuel is supposed to explode within the cylinders is when your spark plug fires but there are situations where for example you may have carbon buildup on your pistons or even inside your cylinder walls um, you know and that can create hot spots where your air fuel mixture can end up exploding before uh, the spark actually fires and what then ends up happening is that the wave front from you know the fuel that has exploded on your cylinder on your piston comes and meets the one uh, that has exploded from your spark plug and then that ends up causing a very uh, you know strong pinging sound that comes from your engine sometimes you will be able to hear it but most cars have a knock sensor built into them uh, which is basically like a small microphone and I'll put a video up on the screen to show you uh, you know some of the positions where your knock sensors can be located but it's normally around uh, where the cylinders are uh, on this one it's not attached but I will have a video up there for you to see so your engine will be able to detect that through the ECU and it will throw an error code for it uh, which is a check engine light and you'll be able to see on your diagnosis machine that your car is experiencing some knock so basically with this type of knock that's only detected by your engine's knock sensor there's basically two things that can cause uh, you know the knocking or the pinging that goes on inside your engine or we can also call it pre-detonation so one is using bad fuel that is not recommended for your engine uh, higher performance engines use things like 93 octane fuel so if you use uh, for example an 85 octane fuel in your engine then the likelihood of it detonating before the spark plug fires is very high and that can cause uh, you know pinging or knocking that can be detected by the knock sensor so if you make sure that you're using the proper fuel uh, in your car you know just making sure that you use an octane booster if you don't find the right fuel for your car then your car will just be fine and your knock sensor will not detect any knock inside your engine the second thing that can cause knock is overheating so if the temperatures in your cylinders get too high then you have hot spots around the pistons or even sometimes carbon buildup around the pistons can cause hot spots um, uh, around the cylinder and that will cause uh, those spots to ignite the air fuel mixture in your car instead of your spark plug and that can cause the knock that will be detected by your engine's knock sensor. So this type of knock that's caused by pre-detonation is actually very dangerous and can cause some serious catastrophic failures because if it is not, you know, corrected, whether it's by the engine retarding timing or, you know, you putting in better fuel, then you can have a situation where your air fuel mixture explodes way too early and then it ends up, you know, causing things like um, you know cylinder pressures to go really high and bending rods and even in some cases literally uh, destroying the entire you know crankshaft and stuff like that so you just have to make sure that if you get a check engine light uh, from the knock sensor uh, you try and make the necessary checks that you need to do because if you don't and you continue to drive especially on high performance engines you can have some serious damage to your engine uh, causing it to be a write-off and need replacement 
So that was just a basic video about engine knock. Um, if you're having any issues where you're hearing, you know, knocking sounds from the bottom end of your engine, you can definitely bring your car here to TuneX. And also we do have diagnosis machines. So if you get a check engine light and it could be the knock sensor uh, detecting problem with your engine, then we can also be able to diagnose and fix that as well. And as usual, if I left anything else that you guys want to suggest, uh, you can leave it in the comments and we'll make another video. But yeah, I hope somebody learned something about engine knock and I will see you guys on the next one.